And this, my friends, is what happens when you leave. When you leave, and don't look and see what you did, you run into this. This is where my power plant used to be. As you see, it must have overheated because of something. I don't really know why. Um, yeah, it did. In fact, I think it overheated because of... Uh, I'm not really sure why. But this is also a problem. This pump also overheated. I didn't even know I had it on. Ah, oh, damn it. Like, there's my oil tanks. They're way up there. Oh, jeez. This sucks. This really does suck. Luckily, these didn't blow up and blow up my refineries. But all that uh, work was totally destroyed. That really sucks. Uh, my water pump's gone like crazy still. Damn it. Ah, oh, well. Anyways, guys. Uh, well... Thanks for watching, and I will try to repair this. Okay, repairs are pretty much complete. Um, maybe there's some nice features that I don't have quite yet. Uh, there's a few things, but here we go. The power station is pretty much completed. I made only one change, which was kind of on its way anyway, which was that this pipe no longer uh, connects to the pipe up there, that oil pipe, as you see right there. Um, that, that dark colored pipe that's, that's filled with oil. This is now connected to over here, do, 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 through here, to this set of tanks, which I've extended from above. These are the fuel tanks. And uh, let me go down this ladder. This gets behind those fuel tanks. Do, do, do. And there's a series of three pumps. One, two, three. Now, the thing is, these pumps I can't just turn on because, if you notice, they have no fuel in them. They can't turn on because combustion engines require that you have something fuel-like to support them. So what I'm going to do is grab some fuel from my tank and basically prime the pump. It's important that you don't put a bucket in here and then shift click another bucket in it uh, will crash at least this version of buildcraft so uh, that's a th that's something I found that's a bug in the system I think they're trying to fix it I don't know but now at least these have whoops these have something in them and I will never have to worry about the fuel for these ever because as you see I get oh, it's hard to see here but there's a tank in front of this blah the block in front of this engine is a wooden transport block for liquids, so it will pump out the fuel. It goes up and then around and into this gold pipe. These gold pipes will go directly into the into the into the engines themselves, which will then you know constantly be supplying their own fuel. And uh, then this pipe goes out, and as you see, and we shall see where it goes. Well, actually, it it goes. It matches right up with the power supply. So, uh, which is over there. So this switch controls these pumps, these engines, which are responsible for pumping the fuel that is generated from our refinery. Down at the base of these tanks, though, there's this switch right here that is generating, that is powering these engines in the back. And you see these engines in the back are now working. Let's go behind the scenes and see them. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay. Now you see this pipe is filling up with fuel. All right. And let's go back up. And let's go see where that fuel pipe is going. Let's see. Oops. Uh, nope, it's down. My entrance to this uh, behind here is up on the floor above it, so it's kind of weird. But, okay, as you see, it's going here. See that the the pumps are behind this glass wall here, and these tanks. That's the switch for them. That uh, the pipe is going through here, through here, and now this is responsible for filling up the fuel in um, my pumps here. So my engines here. These engines are responsible for the power system. So fuel is more efficient than oil. This fuel, this yellow fuel, it's more efficient than oil, so that's uh, that's why you want to refine it. It will... Um, I don't know how how it's going to fare, because the 
power supply I am using to generate the electricity that is powering the refinery is fueled by the fuel that is the product of that refinery, if that makes any sense. Which seems like it's a never-ending um, infinity power loop, just using f uh, oil. And it, it might work out okay that way, I just don't know which is faster, the consumption of fuel by these engines or the production of fuel by my refineries. So that's that's the only that's the only dead point there. Um, but basically, I don't have to. C I will probably fill up these engines and then shut off this pump and then turn it on, and then sort of shut this off once the fuel's out. That's the be that's the best way to operate these to avoid any sorts of explosions. Is that you don't ever really have one pump going where you cannot really monitor it. Um, you really have to not just oh, okay everything's running. Let me just walk away. Uh, you really can't do that. So with any of these machines in Buildcraft because the engines that are responsible for powering Buildcraft items will, as we have seen, explode if they are run uh, for any extended periods of time. So, oh yeah, here, and I fixed this uh, right now. This, I need to I need to cover that with something. Oh, I brought some stone. Um, for now, I'm just going to cover it like that. It's kind of ugly. And what I'll probably do is move this switch up one, which of course means I have to fix my vertical wiring again. Um, and I'll do the same thing with this switch, just because I don't like it on the ground. I'm probably going to have a glass pane or some other sorts of thing, and maybe a door where I can enter here. Um, I'll, I'll have to see about that. I have to see if I can do it with this wiring here. But this is our uh, oil pumping system. Uh, we can have it running. Sure, why not? It pumps oil basically only to the refineries, and then the oil pipe continues down here to the water pump. So, the water pump is running out of uh, off of oil alone, not not fuel. So that's that. We'll see how this works uh, as we continue pumping and filling our engines with fuel. So the fuel hasn't gotten here yet. It's it's filling up these. It hasn't quite gotten down here yet. It gets there slowly. Uh, so, And I don't know how much we'll end up pumping out of here before we get there. I want to be able to always see your engines. Right now they're running blue. I want to keep them blue. I also want to be able to monitor and look behind the scenes to make sure that there are, there are uh, water cooling going for the engines. And as we see, they're, they're looking great. Oh, they just turned into green. Running green is fine. Uh, it's it's the other colors you got to worry about. Blue and green are perfectly good. So, all right, guys, uh, that will cut it for now. I will be back and we'll start to power up our system again to make sure everything is fixed. Oh, look at the levels of fuel; they're going down in my tanks. Darn it! Well, this is sort of priming my system, so we'll see what happens. Okay, we are ready to test um, our system here. So I've been having, now this should work just the same as it did before. There really shouldn't be any difference here. Our oil pumps are running. And um, basically the idea is to, when this stuff is running, I just have to go up and between these two floors to check things because I have to check this, I have to visually check the status of some of these engines. For example, these that are responsible here for pushing out the fuel that is produced. The oil engines, which are responsible for replenishing the oil in the refineries, as well as for responsible for replenishing the oil consumed by this water pump over there. Which, by the way, never has gotten anything better than green. Maybe it's because there's so much pipe and so much water that's being consumed by everything that it just always is doing its job. Uh, but all of these engines have a significant amount, at least, of fuel, so we're ready to go. Um, I can continue pumping if I want, but um, what I'll be doing is firing her up. So let's see. They should all run. All right, so they're all running, supplying a good amount of power. Actually, this looks better than before. This looks a lot stronger than before. Huh, so it looks like fuel actually gives you more output because this is, oh, this is definitely stronger than before. Oh, look at this. These guys are going like mad. Yeah, let's turn this on. Woo! These guys are really going like mad. I might have to actually change these into uh, um, 
combustion engines, yeah. They might be su uh, supplied by this same oil. And then in the end, I do have a system, so I'll show you right now. If I go down here, so let's climb all the way down this ladder. This is looking behind our combustion engines that are pumping the fuel that is created. They're pumping the fuel into our refinery system, our uh, power plant system. So it's powering all those 20 engines, I think. Maybe no, uh, yeah, something around there. And it might be like 18 engines or something around those. Mm, it's less. Okay, well, never mind. Anyways, um, but as you see, there is also a pipe here, a stone pipe here, waiting to be connected. This stone pipe, I am going to... It kind of goes here and stops. I'll probably end up connecting it here and using um, fuel instead of oil to power this water pump eventually. So that way the oil pump only has to supply that refinery. And in which case... The pumps that pump the fuel out of these refineries, which is right here, these pumps in the back, can be water-cooled combustion engines, which will overheat a lot less uh, easily than these redstone engines. But for now, this, this works fine. Um, and even though we are pumping into, uh, as long as you pump into the tank, you can pump into it anywhere, uh, from the top or from the middle or from the bottom. Uh, but when you take out, Fuel. So say I took out fuel from this tank part, I pumped it out, you could only pump out up to this tank level. You can't pump kind of up, which makes sense, uh, because that's sort of how it would work normally. Yeah, this is much stronger naturally than the other one. So great, this is a good idea. So if you have a power plant system, run it on fuel. Do not run it on oil if you can. Awesome. All right, guys, sweet. Um, yeah, and the, the thickness of this blue beam indicates the power of your system. So let's go down and see how these engines are doing. They're running all blue, which is great. All right, they seem to have a decent amount. Oh, this one has no water in it. Okay, that's a problem. Ooh, good thing I saw that. Um, basically, just run any one of these. This is fine. It should start filling up with water pretty soon because we have the pump going. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I have to check uh, to see to make sure that um, no one else is running out of water. I don't think think we're good with everybody else. You have to look at those corner ones. So this one's needing it. Everybody else is good. Okay, whew, that was close. That could have been a big, big problem. All right. Okay, guys. Well, I fixed my system, and in fact, I made it better than before. Just uh, too too bad it actually exploded on me. Um, but oh well, things happen. That's okay. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, guys, and see you in the next vid where we will work on... Um, I haven't decided yet. It will either be a mob system, which is basically just going to be a general run-of-the-mill mob system. Very boring. Uh, the only cool part is that the I'll be able to suck up the items and bring them to the surface and then sort them. It's pretty simple. I might actually do that first. And I work on a storeroom pretty much in the middle of this area, like right next to that dungeon entrance. And, um, <clears throat> or I'll work on a quarry, which will be sitting over there in the swamp land area over there or over here. I haven't decided yet, and yeah, I haven't decided anything yet. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and see you in the next vid.